Today we'll be covering 2.1 simultaneous uh, equations. So, the main thing that you need to know for today is that all of this is be done by substitution. You cannot eliminate in this case. Okay, so it has to be done by substitution, especially when you see that there are powers of two here. Okay, you have to do this by substitution. Do not attempt to do this by elimination. It's just not possible. Okay, now. What we have done previously is, is something similar. So in this case, we aim to substitute either x or y away. So in this case, what I am looking for here is this. Look at for the equation that looks simpler. 1 or 2, quite obviously. Equation 2 is a simpler one. So I will start from equation 2. So from equation 2, I will get y equals to 1 minus 2x. So I make at y the subject of the formula. So that is equation 3. What I'll do now is this. Based on what we've learned in secondary 2 itself, I will substitute equation 3 into equation 1 itself. So what I will get here is 1 minus 2x squared. Why do I get 1 minus 2x squared? Because I'm substituting away y with 1 minus 2x. Okay, so 1 minus 2x squared plus 2x plus 3 squared equals to 10. Okay, please do not attempt to just a square root, square root, square root. It doesn't work that way. What you have to do here is that you will have to uh, actually expand everything. So if you attempt to expand everything as we have practiced in the previous lessons, what I'll get is 1 a squared minus 2ab, so 2 times 1 times 2, then minus 4x plus 4x squared. So basically, this and this are equivalent. Similarly, I will expand 2x plus 3 squared to give me 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 is equals to 10. So this and this are equivalent. So the next thing that I will need to do is to simplify everything. So I will start to collect terms, okay? So what I will get is 4x squared plus 4x squared. What I will get is 8x squared, okay? Negative 4x and plus 12x. What I get is plus 8x. Then what I have here is 1 and a 9, that it gives me a 10. So it's 8x squared plus 8x plus 10 is equals to 10. Where does this 10 come from? It is from this side here. So when I have simplified this, I got 8x squared plus 8x plus 10. Let me just cut this out, okay, and paste it into the next page. Over here, so I just carry on there. So now what I do is, I will minus 10 from both sides of the equation. So what I have is 8x squared plus 8x plus 10 minus 10 will give me 0. So I get 8x squared plus 8x equals to 0. So if I factorize 8x from both terms, I get x plus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, based on what we have learned, 8x is equal to 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0. What I'm left with is x equals to 0 or x is equals to negative 1. Okay, don't forget you need to found the x values. If you go back, what we have is a y equals to 1 minus 2x over here. That was equation 3. So I can find y equals to 1 minus 2 times x which is 0 or y equals to 1 minus 2 times x which is negative 1. So my y value is 1 or my y value is equals to 3. So to present your answers, just write there as answer. x is equal to 0, y equals to 1. That is one set of values or when x is equals to negative 1, y is equals to 3. So now, how do we make sense of all of this? Notice that now I actually have two pairs of values. There are two solutions. So if we go back, all right, and see the equations, 
Just vaguely remember, y squared plus 2x plus 3 squared equals to 10, 2x plus y equals to 1. If I use a graphing software to actually draw these two equations, what I will get here is this. Isn't this beautiful? You get a oval shape here for the y squared plus 2x plus 3 squared equals to 10. And for the other equation, it's actually a straight line. Notice that both of these equations will intersect each other at two points. So just now our values were negative 1, 3 and 0, 1. So if you notice, if I draw the graph itself, negative and 1 and 3 is one point of intersection, 0 and 1 is another point of intersection. Both these pairs of values will satisfy both equations. So that's what it means by uh, having two sets of uh, solutions. Okay, now let's just try another question here. So another question here is this. Similarly, I will label my equations as 1 and my equation as 2. So from equation 1, what I'll get is y equals to x plus 2. Okay, this will give me equation 3. Why did I start with equation 1? Because it looks like the simpler one without all the square and x and all. So I think equation 1 is something easier to work with. So from equation 1, I've simplified to become equation 3. These two are equivalent anyway. So what I have now is y equals x plus 2. So as we have done in the previous question, what I'll do is I will substitute equation 3 into equation 2. So what I get is 2x squared minus 5x minus 6 is equals to x plus 2. How to solve an equation like this? We collect all the terms onto the left hand side of the equation. So what I'll get here is 2x squared minus 6x minus 8 is equals to 0. Let me just copy this onto the next page so that we have some continuity. Okay, there is no next page. So, I continue solving my equation here. So, if I continue to solve my equation here, before you do this, there's one simple trick here. Notice that this, uh, the coefficient of x squared is 2, coefficient of x is negative 6, and coefficient of x to the power of 0 is negative 8. So, they can easily be divided by 2, because they are all even numbers. So, if I divide by 2, what I get is x squared minus 3x minus 4 is equals to 0. Then, if I start to factorize, what I get is x and x. Notice that the factorization, you can either use the cross method, okay, or you can use uh, the method that we learn in sec 2 itself so whatever method that you use to factorize okay you can just uh, use from what you had done in sec 2 itself so what we get is um, x minus 4 and x plus 1 equals to 0 if you can't remember how to factorize i really urge you to go back and look at your sec 2 work itself because this is a skill that's essential for many parts of amf itself so what i'll get is x equals to 4 or x equals to negative 1. Now, how to obtain my y values? You go back and look at our equation. We had y is equals to x plus 2. So what I'll get here is y is equals to x plus 2 or y is equals to x plus 2. So my y value is 6, okay, or my y value is equals to 1. So my answer is when uh, x is equals to 4, my y value is equal to 6, or when my x value is negative 1, my y value is 1. Okay, 4, 6, negative 1 and 1. Okay, just try to make a mental note of these numbers. How does this fit in with my original two equations? y minus 2 equals to x and y equals to 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. So, notice that 4, 6, negative 1 and 1. If I were to draw my two equations okay, using a graphing software, 2x squared minus 5x minus 6 and y minus 2 equals to x, hey, the solutions that we calculated are the exact points where the two uh, graphs or the two equations will actually intersect each other. 
where we have negative 1 and 1 and we also have 4 and 6 itself. So these two solutions will actually satisfy both of the equations itself. Okay, now I uh, invite you to pause and practice. Uh, solve for x and y the simultaneous equations. I will actually give you the uh, answers uh, in a short moment. So do pause and practice now. And these are this the answer for the previous uh, part. Okay, you can actually check your answers. You can pause the screen to check your answer. And eventually, you will get to the answers here where x equals to 1, y equals to negative 1, x equals to 3, and y equals to 3 itself. Uh, I hope you have uh, you were able to solve this question. Uh, if not, uh, you can check in your teachers and we will try to help you to see what queries you might have in solving this. Okay, time to pause and practice again. Please try using the skills that you've learned. Try to figure it out. I know it's new to you, but I think you can put everything together. Pause and practice this. Okay, and pause the video now and give it a shot. Okay, now we will move on to the answers for the pause and practice. And these are the answers there where you get x equals to 4, y equals to 1, and x equals to 1, y equals to negative 2. Okay, I give you another what I call question again. Okay, in this question they say find the coordinates of the points of intersection between the curve y equals to x squared minus 2x plus 2 and the line x plus y equals to 4. Okay, notice here in the previous questions, uh, our the question itself was solve for x and y the simultaneous equations so the answer when i actually presented the answer when i solve for x and y okay the answer presented is in this format now okay the question here is we are using the same skills but now they ask you to find the coordinates so everything remains the same except that uh, at the end of the entire question the answers must be presented right as in a set of coordinates okay so this one is important so what we can do now is this i'll just write down y equals to x squared minus 2x plus 2 and x plus y is equals to 4 by now your mind should be turning and you can identify which is the simpler one to start with and you should know that equation 2 is the easier one to start with so let me start with equation 2 so from equation 2 what i get is y is equals to 4 minus x that gives me equation 3 so now what i need to do is that since 2 and 3 are actually the same uh, they are equivalent equations i take equation 3 i shall substitute that into equation 1 i will replace the y and y so what I'll get here is I will substitute equation 3 into equation 1. So what I get is x squared minus 2x plus 2 is equals to 4 minus x. I've replaced the y with the y here. So it's 4 minus x. What I'll get here is this. Again, we collect all the terms onto the left-hand side. So what I get is x squared minus x minus 2 is equals to 0. What I need to do now is to factorize. So if I factorize, I get x and x is equal to 0. So x minus 2, x plus 1 is equals to 0. What I'll have here is x is equals to 2 or x is equals to negative 1. Now, how do I get my y value? I use the equation y equals to 4 minus x. So my y value is equals to 4 minus x or my y value is equals to 4 minus x. So what I get is y equals to 2 or y equals to 5. 
Ah, now if you were going to write your answer as x equals to 2, y equals to 2, okay, in this case that will be incorrect for this question. Because if you remember at the start of the question, they actually ask you for the coordinates of the points. So if they are the coordinates of the points, what I'll get is 2. Okay, let me not write that in red, don't confuse you. Okay, uh, what I should get here is the answer is 2 and 2. Okay, the x coordinate is 2, y coordinate is 2, or negative 1 and 5. So you would have to actually um, what I call, write it right as a set of coordinates. So do pay attention to what the question is asking for because you will be expected to present your answer as such. Okay, now. Okay, uh, before you pause and practice, uh, okay, I wrote this one wrongly, okay. So now what you need to do is, uh, for this pause and practice, is to find the coordinates okay, of the points of intersection. between these two equations between y minus x plus 3 is equal to 0 and y equals to x squared minus 4x plus 1 so do pause and practice now and I will give you the answer in a short moment okay now let's uh, look at the answers Okay, notice that my answer is actually wrong down here because I actually asked for the coordinates themselves. So I actually presented the answers wrongly. So this is incorrect. So the correct way to present the answer here is actually when x is 5, y is 2. So the coordinate will be 5, 2 or 1 and negative 2. So the answer should be uh, represented as a pair of coordinates itself. So let me just erase this. To prevent further confusion okay if not i will actually move on to the last example of this video so let's move on in three two one let's go okay a rectangular car license plate so this question is about application of the skills that we actually learned already so you will actually need to be able to formulate the uh, equations themselves so a rectangular car license plate is an area of 600 cm square. Its perimeter is 4 cm more than 10 times its length. Find the dimensions of this license plate. Okay, here, now, what we dimensions. So what are dimensions looking for? We're actually looking for the length and the breadth itself. So let me just say that I will let the length, okay, be x and the breadth. B Y. So area of 600 cm square, I can write down X times Y is equals to 600. This one is easy peasy. Now, perimeter is 4 cm more than 10 times its length. So perimeter, there are two lengths, okay, and two breadths. That's the perimeter. So the perimeter is 4 cm more than 10 times its length. So I write 10 times the length. So parameter is 4 cm more, it means that the parameter is longer. So to balance this equation, I need to add the 4 cm to 10 times its length. Just like that. Okay, and this gives me equation 1, and this gives me equation 2 itself. Now, I have my two equations ready. What I need to do is, if I look, the first equation has x times y, a bit more complicated. 2x plus 2y equals to 10x plus 4. I think I shall work with that. So what I'll do is I'll take equation 2 and I start to collect terms. Okay, so I'll get negative 8x okay, plus 2y is equals to 4. Then I think hmm, maybe I can try to substitute for y itself. So I'll say that 2y is 4 plus 8x. So, what I get is um, 2y equals to 4 plus 8x. To simplify this, I can divide every term by 2. So, I get is y equals to 2 
plus 4x. That gives me equation 3. Okay, equation 3, y equals to 2 plus 4x, I can substitute it into this original equation 1, which is xy is equal to 600. So, if xy is equal to 600, and I substitute y with 2 plus 4x is equal to 600. So, what I'll get here is 2x plus 4x squared minus 600 equals to 0. Try to simplify before you try to solve this because uh, if not, the numbers are actually quite large. So, if I divide everything by 2, I get x plus 2x squared minus 300 equals to 0. Rearranging nicely, I get 2x squared plus x minus 300 is equals to 0. So, uh, whatever method that you use to factorize, okay, what I'll get here is 2x plus 25, x minus 12 is equals to 0. Okay, let me just copy out the nick the okay let me just copy out this last line so that I need to write out everything. If I solve I'll get 2x plus 25 equals to 0 or x minus 12 is equal to 0. 2x equals to negative 25, x equals to negative 12.5. In this case, I have to reject this x value. Why? I know in sector we will tell you don't reject. But in this case, x is a length, so it cannot be a negative length. Hence, we will reject x. However, for the other value, I get x is equals to 12. Then, if I look, I remember that um, my y is 2 plus 4x. So, what I'll say is y is equals to 2 plus 4x12. My y value is 50. Hence, okay, the dimensions, they want the dimensions. My length is 12 cm. So dimensions are 12 cm by 50 cm. And that concludes this video. I hope that uh, you have enjoyed watching this video. And do check in with your teachers if you have any questions on your next lesson.